For today's video, we're going to get some gameplay with the main stage, Quinn. You'll be able to get her from the Rad Llama, and here's what she looks like when she's fully upgraded. The only accessory that we got was this backpack, and we got that one after the second evolution. When it comes to her abilities, she has Teddy, Shock Tower, and Seismic Smash. And for our standard perk, she has Sub Wafers, which is whenever you harvest metal objects, you'll have a 32% chance to get a Sub Wafer. And Sub Wafers grant Rock and Rift, which increase your damage and attack speed. And for a commander perk, it gives you a 100% chance to get a sub wafer whenever you harvest metal objects. As for our loadout, we're gonna be using a totally rocking out team perk. And for our support team, we have Varsity Hero, Breakbeat Wildcat, Quick Draw Calamity, Beetle Jess, and Ranger Deadeye. And the mission we're gonna do is to fight the category two storm and Uva's gonna be helping us out. I also wanna see if she says anything. That's enough for you. Oh, I guess so. Let's build. Get it, get it, got it, got it. Uh uh, uh huh, uh huh, oh yeah. Oh! Sorry. Knock him down. All right, well, there's a few things that she says. So I guess the first thing I should point out is that every time you harvest an object made of metal, it's gonna give you wafers. So for that bus, we just got two wafers. It doesn't really matter what kind of object it is, as long as it's made of metal, it'll give you wafers when you destroy it. And again, every time you eat wafers, it's gonna grant you rock and rip, which increases your damage, your melee attack speed. And since we have totally rocking out in our support team, it also increases our crit rating as well as our health. And with our current loadout, the wafers give us a total of 37,000 health. So it doesn't give as much health as coconuts. And as you can tell in the bottom, they can stack up to 100 before it'll take up another slot. And it looks like you can get anywhere between two and five wafers every time you destroy metal objects. Another thing I wanted to point out when it comes to Rock and Rift is that the increase in melee attack speed that you get from it also applies to pickaxes. So here's our attack speed without Rock and Rift. And here's our attack speed with it. You can tell it's a lot faster. I don't believe it's going to be as good as Pathfinder Jess when it comes to using the pickaxe because she deals more damage with her pickaxe. And you can use sub wafers with Jess as well by putting main stage Quinn in your support team. I guess we'll go ahead and take a look at her abilities as well. What kind of bear is best? It's a ridiculous question. She has the Teddy, which uses 30 energy and has a 60 second cooldown without a charged fragment. It can shoot up to four shots per second and it's gonna last for a total of 15 seconds without the charge fragment. When we use it with the charge fragment, it doesn't use any energy and it only has a 42 second cooldown. But with our current loadout, it's still only gonna last for 15 seconds. And she also has Seismic Smash, which uses 40 energy and has a 15 second cooldown and it deals energy damage. And last up, we're gonna take a look at her Shock Tower. It uses 30 energy and has a 20 second cooldown without a charged fragment. It can stun Husk and it's going to last for about 3 to 4 seconds. And when you use the Shock Tower with the charge fragment, it's not going to use any energy and it's only going to have a 14 second cooldown. Bumble! Ah! Ah! Right, hey, ah! And I also want to show how much damage we do with our current loadout kill that guy and the weapon we're going to be using is this fully maxed out ginger blaster that has three crit damage perks on it obviously she's not going to be the best hero when it comes to dealing damage with pistols but i do want to go ahead and see how much damage we deal with our current loadout and it took us two magazines to kill that level 132 smasher get rid of the body we were able to kill the blaster within five shots And we were also able to kill the taker within five shots as well. You got this, Commander. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so for this one we have fire enemies. Husk on the way. And I'm gonna try my best to eat wafers all throughout the defense. Remind me to eat wafers, Uva. Eat wafers. We do have a couple of defenders helping us out, and mine is using a 130 obliterator. What's yours using, Uva? 
Yeah, the same. And we also had to change our weapons since we have fire enemies. I didn't want to use the physical ginger blaster. So instead, we're going to use this water bobcat. And this one also has three crit damage perks on it. But it deals water damage, which is perfect for the fire enemies. I'm going to try to pick up these footballs, too. So right now they're attacking from the west and from the east. So we don't really have to worry about the other atlas at the moment. At the moment. It's gonna change the... Uh, so when it comes to main stage Quinn, I really like the sub wafers. I like the fact that you can stack them and you can eat them whenever you need them. But I think I prefer having her in the support team rather than playing as a commander because nice. you still have a really good chance of getting the wafers with her in your support team. And she doesn't have like any extra type of buffs when it comes to wafers. Where is it? So I kind of feel like she's better off in the support team rather than as a commander. I kind of don't like how she doesn't have phase shift either. Definitely feels slower than other outlanders. Uh, spawns changed, Uva. Yeah, there's some here. I'm gonna go ahead and use my first teddy. And I feel like things are getting dangerous. I'm gonna go ahead and back up a little bit. We got blasters too, so watch out for them. Get a little cover. And let me know if you need a heal, because I need one. And I have adrenaline rush. So let me know if you need it. Okay. I should probably just go ahead and use it. Because I don't have. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use it. Oh, that was close. And let's go ahead and use our wafers while we're at it. The only thing I don't like about the wafers is that they don't heal as much as coconuts. Like with coconuts, you can get like almost a million health from it. If you use Blast from the Past Team perk. So I don't like how it doesn't heal you as much as coconuts. But I think that's the only thing I don't like about them. I like the coconut. We don't have a mini boss on this one. I'm going to go ahead and throw down my first slow field. How you doing over at Uber? And Let's go ahead and eat another wafer. Thank you. There we go. Nope. Trying to remember to eat my snacks. I need a snack. And you also can't drop them for your teammates like you can with coconuts. So I guess that's another thing I don't like about the way. Oh, I'm on my way. I guess I got hungry. <laughs> I'm on my way. Because with coconuts, you can drop them for your teammates and it'll heal them whenever they eat it. Oh, we got propanes. Can you drop me one? Uh, you can't drop wafers. And I don't have any coconuts. I didn't put it in my support team. Can't. But yeah, we have uh, propanes over. Try to kill them before they get too close. And lobbers. Uh-oh. Let's, let's go for the lobbers real quick. But yeah, in terms of uh, getting rock and rift, I really like Penny's way of getting Rock and Riff from Heavy Eliminations. And I like the Sub Wafers as well. Oh man, watch out for the Propanes, they're trying to blow up stuff. Dying. 
Blow yourself up. Oh, good job, Defender. Coming through clutch. I think spawns are about to change again. Uh, they're coming from the south. The Okay, they're just coming from the south. I'm gonna come help you out. Oh, you got propanes laying around. Let's go ahead and use another teddy. But yeah, for those of you who have tried Main Stage Quinn, let us know what you think about her and what kind of loadouts you all came up with. I was thinking we may go ahead and do a video going over all of the three crit damage weapons in the game. So let me know if y'all would be interested in seeing that. Oh, we got her pain. Yep. Try your best. I was thinking people might want to know since Enemy we got Rock and Rift now and that increases your crit rating. People want to know what kind of three crit damage perks are available. Uh -uh. So let me know if y'all would be interested in seeing that. I forgot to eat my wafers, Uva. Oh, you threw yours down when I threw mine down. Oh, man. <laughs> Great minds think alike. We're good, though. They didn't do any damage either, which is perfect. But yeah, now that we've gotten gameplay with Main Stage Quinn, all we have left is the Woofer and Breakbeat Wildcat. So we'll try to get gameplay with them within the next week. Sorry. 30 seconds left to go. Ah, I need a snack. Obviously, we have to get gameplay of the weapons that haven't been released yet. I believe there's still like two or three more. But yeah, we're pretty much done when it comes to rad heroes and boombox weapons. That was a pretty good defense, though. Not too bad. But yeah, that'll do it for our first main stage Quinn gameplay. But yeah, we ended up getting a level 4 loot chest with some gold, storm shards, and hero XP. We also got some reperk as well as some fire up. Anyways, that'll do it for this one. Big shout out to Uber for helping us out. I hope y'all enjoyed it.